Oh boy, second day back on the job of battle rap blogging, and I gotta deal with this shit. I can't just come back and talk about regular shit. I gotta talk about and have the uncomfortable conversation of talking about two people that I got rapport with <laughs> who all of a sudden find themselves going back and forth or having an issue now. Ah, boy, shit never simple. I'm not here to convince you that Easy or Remy or Henny or Papoose was right or wrong in none of these scenarios. So please don't be arguing with me in the comment section today. I'm not for it. If you're mad, go tell them because they involved, not me. I'm just giving my perspective. I'm not bailing nobody out. I'm not holding nobody's hand. I'm only here to talk about what I think is the truth and how I feel about it. If you don't like it, turn this shit off. And I'm going to see you next blog. God damn. Stop being fake mad all the time. Don't get in my comment section going crazy. I love y'all, man, but y'all be wildin'. So get comfortable. We're going to talk some truth real quick. We're going to try to sort this shit out. That's right. I'm a steak. Bad motherfucker. You cool. In the city streets, that's my guy through me. What a good die young in the cash room. So no go preach me. I'm a steak. Bad motherfucker. Real cool. Where you at, bad boy? Um. Right here. You can call me fat boy, man. Hell yeah, you can. In the flesh, motherfucker. Your favorite blogger's favorite blogger. The best blogger that y'all don't really watch like that because I don't give you a chance because I don't be blogging like that. Shout out to all the wild goons, all the lady wild goons. We here to have a uncomfortable conversation. Hey, I didn't forget you. Shout out to the cousins, man. Shout out to... My whole team over at New Era Podcast. I love y'all to death. Uh, we definitely should have a show for y'all this Sunday. Go check out New Era Podcast. Go follow that channel if you want to hear more of me talking with my friends about all the crazy shit that's going on in Battle Rap. We definitely there. Sunday's at 11. That's getting ready to change. We're going to move to 12 o'clock as soon as football is over. We're going back to 12 o'clock. We ain't missing no football around here. That's one thing we don't do over at New York Podcast. Ben Swayze Fantasy League. We're going to get straight to the shits here. Again, I want to reiterate this before I go any further. Shout out to Henny. Shout out to Easy. I'm not here to convince you one way or the other on how to feel about anything that either one of these niggas have done. Okay? I'm not here to do that. I just want to give my perspective on some things that's drowning in truth. That's the only perspective I got, is to drown it in reality and truth and common sense. Some of this shit I'm going to say you ain't going to like. I already know. If you mad, get in the comments and say whatever you want. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the type of blog where the shit niggas going to say in the comments. I probably ain't going to read it because niggas is just going to be loud and yelling. Oh, but he did this and I'm you a bitch ass nigga for... For trying to side with easy and it's crazy how niggas Y'all niggas be arguing with y'all whole heart. And I'm going to tell you right now, I do not give a fuck. You, you about to be mad and just saying shit to yourself in the comments. No, I don't give a fuck, bro. I really do not care. It's not none of my personal business what anybody has done, whether it be easy or any or whoever. I don't really give a fuck. I'm here to entertain the people who like to hear my perspective on shit that goes on. And that's what I'm here for. So let's get straight to it. Let's not waste another motherfucking second. This is what y'all wanted to happen. This is what y'all wanted to happen. Y'all wanted easy to turn the camera on. The night of, the day after, whichever one. And you wanted him to say something a little like this. That nigga Pat Poos is a bitch ass nigga. He snuffed me twice. I didn't see the punch coming, but it's cool. This bitch ass nigga owe me a fade. It is what it is. If you can't respect that, you're not a real nigga. I kept real with y'all. Y'all want him to say something like that, right? Now, in all honesty, I would have, I, I honestly, myself, I think that would have been the move to do, right? Get on camera. Fess up to what really happened. Not that niggas owe us an explanation. Right? 
Not not that he owe us to tell us any motherfucking thing, but you know, it is what it is. That's what niggas really wanted. You can't fucking do that though. Are y'all fucking crazy? Some of y'all are fucking crazy, bro. In his position, you cannot do that. Fat boy, but he lied. He lied. I know. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Yo, fat boy, I thought you was a real nigga, fat boy. I thought you was going to keep it 100. I, I am. I am. Let me explain some shit to y'all. Let, let me tell you how this really goes, okay? What I'm saying is coming from a position of I have been there. I've been in every single seat of this equation, all three seats. Remy seat, easy seat, and Papoose's seat. I've been in each one of these scenarios myself at one point or another in my life. Do y'all not realize that if I get on camera and I say to the world, Papoose punch me, it don't matter if you call him a bitch ass nigga, a coward, whatever you call this nigga. The next thing that follows with that is you have to then explain to the world why in the fuck Papoose is punching you in the face. You cannot do that. Why can't you do that? Why the fat boy keep saying you can't do that? Bro, if you fucking Remy, that is not public information. They are not out in the public as a couple. Remy and Easy. Do y'all not understand that? Of course he fucking lied. Of course she is fucking holding up with the lie and just pretending that she don't know nothing and all of it is rumor and speculation. Of course, that only makes fucking human sense. I can't expect niggas who never been in these shoes to understand that. There's children involved. There's a marriage that could or could not be saved in this situation. That's just the reality of it. And if you easy to block, Captain, I got to respect whatever her wishes are because I don't know if she really just been telling me she want to leave this nigga and be with me or she just thinking about leaving this nigga to be with me or she really just been saying all this shit and she planned on staying the whole fucking time or she never planned on fucking leaving. I don't know, but out of respect for her, I can't just cut this camera on and start talking out of respect for her and her wishes. Clearly, she don't want this information. Now, there's a small chance it's not recorded nowhere. It ain't on video camera that it really happened. There's a small chance that this shit just become rumor and just stay rumor. Why the fuck would he cut the camera on and start telling everybody what just fucking happened? Not that he owe nobody or no shit like that. Niggas is judging easy. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't, if that's what you feel like doing, but by all means, do that shit. I, it don't got nothing to do with me. Niggas is judging easy for the move that he made, but if you've been in these shoes, you, under, you understand it and you know how this works, right? That's number one. I'm just giving the honest perspective here, right? Yo, it's fucked up that he fucked that man's wife. Yeah, yes, yeah, it sure the fuck is. That is fucked up. No, 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 no. No. It's fucked up. Am I judging though? Hell no. I, like I said, I've been in them shoes. I know what it's like. I know what the energy is like. And for him, it's 10 times the pressure. This is Remy fucking Ma. Celebrity status. Hello? This not a regular bottom bitch. This not some bitch you met at the Wawa and you passed in your number while y'all was waiting on y'all sandwiches to get done. This ain't that. This a whole nother scenario here, right? Can you not understand that? I'm being close to somebody who has celebrity status and things have went in a direction that they probably should not go. Before you blame Easy entirely or you be mad at him fucking that man's wife, let me remind you of something. He don't owe this nigga Pat nothing. The only person that owe Pat something 
is Remy. Rem, I don't, I don't know you personally, and I don't have no ill will towards Rem or feel no way about it. Because, like I said before, this ain't none of my business to feel no way about nothing. I'm just speaking on the scenario for the people who want to hear my opinion on it. I, I don't have no dog in the fight. I really don't. Remy's job is to be a ride or die and die about it for this nigga Pat. If you don't know the story, then you should you should look it up and find out what that nigga went through to be with this woman. Look it up. Find out what type of nigga he been for her. You understand? And when you hear that and when you realize what that is all about, she's supposed to die about it before she ever think about doing some shit like that. My question to you is, how do you expect a nigga to uphold something that she not willing to uphold. It was somewhere in her heart to be weak for somebody else. Am I wrong? Am I saying something wrong? No, I'm not saying nothing wrong. So, it is what it is. Listen, I'm going I'm to tell you something about me real quick, right? I recently was diagnosed as diabetic, right? The last six months, seven months has been really emotional for me. I've been going through a lot. It's a constant battle to maintain being diabetic. It's a constant battle to eat right and do the right things. It's very tempting to do the wrong thing every day, right? When it comes to eating right and trying to stay healthy. And my girl been solid. I'm talking about every step of the fucking way. Doctors visits, all that shit with me. Making sure I'm, I'm, I'm on my medication. I'm doing right every day. She been on my ass. And I love her to death for it because this different different for me is difficult for me. And she been there with me with this shit. We've been together since 2016, bro. You understand that? She been a real ride or die. My fiance. And I can't wait to marry this woman. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that if I wasn't sitting in a room by myself and Remy fucking Ma walks in looking the fuck like how she looked. That I don't at least let some kisses get through customs and some clothes come off at least a little bit. I would like to think because I love my girl as much as I do. And Lord knows I love the fuck out this woman right here. That I stop it before it go any further. Best believe my mind is not on Papoose in that moment. Father, what was that verse about temptation? That you gave earlier at the service. I'm thinking about me. You are approaching it's her job to think about Pat Poos, not mine. Is she letting it fly? I can. I'm. I, who to say I ain't gonna let it fly? My girl, listen to my blogs. She listens to the podcast. I ain't gonna hold you, baby. I love you. She know me enough to listen. I, I, I can't promise I'm gonna be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do the right thing. I have no idea. What I do know is that I've been in situations where I done fucked around with somebody else's woman. It ain't cool. Fat boy, he lied about getting punched. I just told you. I just told you. How the fuck you going to jump out there? It's Listen, it's children involved. It's a marriage involved. You can't just jump the fuck out there and kaboom everything in one sweep. You can't do that, bro. So he lied. Oh, he a fraud. He this, he that. Okay. But if you've never been in that boat, I mean, yo, it is what it is. I don't, I don't know what to say to you other than that. I understand it. Am I saying it's right? Fuck no, I'm not saying this right. Let, I take it a step further. Yo, E, you my nigga too. You getting punched in the face, in the neck, in the shoulder, whatever the fuck. You had that coming. Like, and if you a real nigga and you know that, I know you know that. You had that shit coming. You don't think he, you don't think that was warranted? You can take a doc for that pussy. Calm down. I am. Calm down. I am. You don't think that was on the horizon for you? At some point, because of what was going on. 
The nigga should feel that way. He should want to beat the shit out uh, easy. That you fucking my wife, nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on now. We gonna keep it a thousand. Like I'm not here to hold nobody hand and be all buddy buddy about it. I'm just I'm giving you my perspective one. I'm just saying why everybody's so fake out and out outrage and and outrage I mean and fucking up in arms about all this shit like they really give a fuck. Nigga, if you've never been in these situations, you're not gonna understand all of this. And again, she not nobody. You don't, you don't realize how difficult it is to be easy to block Captain? And I'm not trying to sugarcoat it for him. What I'm saying is, I have an image to uphold. I have a reputation to uphold. Most notably, because battle rap is my career, it's important that my image remains intact. I have, I have dignity to hold intact. I got to wear this L for shorty. So that in real world, in her real life, I don't destroy whatever opportunity she may have to save her family if that's what she want to do. In real life, not battle rap, bro. In the real world. I'm going to say like this, bro. If you easy to block, Captain, I'm, I'm just being real. If it was me and I'm easy, I let the papoose shit go, bro. I understand you. I'm a hood nigga. I want my fade back. Niggas caught me slipping. Bro, I, I was fucking that man's wife. And whatever happened to me, I had that shit coming. I ain't letting it go because I'm pussy. I'm letting it go because I can respect the fact that the nigga was mad and he was entitled to that. And I was wrong. I was in the wrong. If we being dead real, he shouldn't have hit easy. easy. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a look at her crazy. Shorty, after all I did for you... This what you got for me? Not a good look, not a good look, not a good look. We got kids. We got a lot going on here. This the energy you got for me? Yo, it's a lot of shame. It's a whole lot of fucking shame and sitting up here and admitting to the world that I wasn't all the nigga she ever needed and she found comfort in another motherfucker. You think that's easy to admit? You think that's something you can lay there at night and just accept? No! No! Come on now. Of course the nigga gonna want scrap. Because I gotta walk around with that shame in my back pocket the rest of my life no matter where I go. Niggas who respect me in this industry, niggas who know who I am and what I'm about and what I've been in this industry. Now when I walk around niggas it stink on my jacket whether I did something or not the least I could do is throw hands on the nigga and at least that much information is out there I gotta look my kids in the face if me and my wife not together I gotta look my kids in the face and they gotta understand why or why not we in the situation we in now and how things got the way they got and Rim and the, no different she gotta do the same thing they both got a lot of choices to fucking make and questions to answer. A lot of tough conversations got to be had. So if you easy to block, Captain, listen, it's already an indictment. Nigga saying, yo, I never got knocked out. I never got this. I never, this didn't happen. This ain't happened. Okay, cool. I'm sure a lot of people already thought, though, something definitely happened. Listen, the nigga called himself the algorithm bull. You disappeared from the algorithm. Something happened for nothing to happen makes no sense. If it's just rumor, if it's just speculation, where you at? Even if you don't got no scratch. All I'm saying is in that scenario, bro, of course people think something really happened. You can't really deny that something didn't. If you got common fucking sense, this nigga just disappeared for nothing. If it was nothing, like, yo, bro, what the fuck is y'all talking about? Nothing happened. Bro, something did happen. You vanished. You've been here every day. Now you're not? Shout out to Rim. She stood there in front of the Geechee battle, hold it down. She didn't fucking flinch. She just stood there and let the battle happen. And the crazy part is now that we know that a lot of shit was true, a lot of the shit that niggas was 
speculating ended up being true. Bro, that's tough that she stood there like that and watched it. Yeah, I don't know how good her body language was. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. But, bro, she soldiered up. Got through the battle. She talked her shit outside like it was nothing and went on with her shit. Bro, it is what it is. I'm not here to, again, I'm not here to convince you of nothing. I'm not here to tell you that any man should or shouldn't have done whatever it is he felt he needed to do. I don't know I don't know the details of that. The shit about easy to block captain having a say in whatever allegations was on any man at the time or whatever. I didn't even know that fucking happened. I missed I somehow missed that day in the culture. I missed a lot of that. So I don't really know. Like I said, I'm not trying to tell niggas who should have did what or didn't do whatever. I don't really know. All I know is at the end of the day, it's a lot of fake energy out here for niggas pretending like they give a fuck that a nigga lied or that he fucked with a married woman and all of this. Man, none of us is above that shit, bro. None of us is above that. We all human. That energy, when it's happening to you, when somebody is, is enticing, and it could have been the other way around. Maybe he was leading her on. Who the fuck knows? It ain't not our business, is my point. All I'm saying is, none of us is above weakness. Nigga, you know, he lied. He lied. Okay. And then, what the fuck? What was he supposed to do? Tell the truth? Just jump out the window and ruin everything for everybody involved? I guess so, bro. Hell, yeah, oh, yo, don't that look crazy that he said? Uh, his fans was sheep and they believe uh, all these battle rap niggas lie about who won the battle bro a lot of these niggas be knowing they lose rounds lose battles get on camera and lie i watched this nigga tay rock shout out to tay rock tay rock got on camera and admitted that he was mad at mook and left <laughs> he gave a left dot mob because them niggas this nigga mook said he lost and he was mad about that i'm on my way Let's roll, friends. Bro, niggas not allowed to say another nigga lost a battle. And we in the same crew. So that means to me that a nigga would just stand there and lie for a nigga because they in the same crew. I'm just going to lie and accept the lie. Nigga, what? I'm, a, I'm like, y'all acting like the nigga said something strange. These niggas all be lying, bro. They do. And if you thought that all this shit was 100% true and this was really all street shit, and these is really all real gangsters, gang members, killers. These niggas, these niggas is fathers. These niggas got kids. These niggas got jobs and shit. Families, grandmas, aunties, nieces, like the rest of us. Bro, stop acting like y'all really in the street and it's some mob ties type shit. It's not. These niggas be best fucking friends, hanging out after fucking battles and shit, shaking hands. Niggas call each other all kind of bitch ass niggas and all this shit on stage and then hug and go have dinner at IHOP and Waffle House and talk about new new ass or whatever. <laughs> fuck. Listen, I'm going to get the fuck out of here, man. I just came here to color a little bit of perspective. I hope this blog ain't too fucking long for some of y'all motherfuckers. Fat Boy Main, man, signing the fuck off. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. I'm fucking gone. Please don't unplug the game.